Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are moving forward with another derivation that is finding the relationship between U, V and R for convex surface. You know U, V and R are object, image and radius of curvature. Object distance, image distance and radius of curvature. And this particular derivation is when reflection takes place, rare fraction takes place from rarer to denser medium. This is another important derivation given in your textbook from the chapter ray optics and optical instruments firstly we will know the things you should know before deriving this chapter later we will go with the diagram representing the derivation and we will start deriving if you are new to our channel you can watch all our videos from the link which is given in the description now things you should know before deriving the thing is nothing but consider any triangle here I have considered this particular triangle now in this triangle the side here the vertical side is extended any side you may consider but as of now I am considering this particular side and this side is extended beyond the triangle and you can see here the extended line and the this line making an angle I and this angle is exterior angle and suppose this angle is x you can take any angle and this angle may be y now you can see directly here it is 90 degree suppose it may be y you can take it as y only now the exterior angle made by this extended line is equal to the sum of other two angles other two interior angle to be specific so you can see here the exterior angle I is equal to the sum of other two interior angles X and X plus 90 degree. Now with this basic knowledge you can move forward for derivation. See this is the diagram. Let me explain you the diagram. Here in this particular diagram you can see suppose let me mark another thing here A. A P and here B. APB is a convex refracting surface which separates rarer medium and denser medium. This surface is separating rarer medium and denser medium. You can see here the rarer medium has refractive index of N1 and denser has N2. Now let P be the pole. P this is the center of this Survey, surface and C is the center of curvature you can see here this point is C this is the center of curvature for this convex length and this as you know this is the radius of curvature now at the point O the object is placed the O represents the point at which object is placed and this ray when the light is passed through O this gets on the surface of the convex surface and this then refracted to I and so the real image is formed in the place I O is the object position and I is the image position now the ray is passing from O to the surface at any point of the surface then on refracting the image is formed in formed in I so for our construction purpose we have drawn a line Nm which is perpendicular from the point of the ray contacting the surface till the principal axis so draw Nm the perpendicular line and you know this is the center of the convex convex surface so draw another construction line passing through the point C these are all the construction line which is the helpful for deriving now our thing is done now let us move with mathematical solution we have drawn we have considered nm construction line and we have drawn a line another line which is passing through the c now we can see here there are three angles the angle is alpha made by the incident ray angle beta made by the refracted ray here beta gamma the con made by the construction line now you can see take tan alpha 
what it will be tan alpha what is tan opposite by adjacent with respect to o and m which is opposite to alpha opposite is nm which is adjacent to alpha o o m you can directly see nm is the opposite o m is the adjacent so tan alpha is equal to mn by o m now similarly take for other things tan beta and tan gamma you can do on your own or just watch out here here beta so in the triangle i m n the opposite is m n and the adjacent is m i so tan beta is m n by m i gamma gamma is also is a opposite n m by m c so this gives m n by m c as you all know there is one good assumption made in many de derivations of physics that is for tan alpha for small angles we will take tan alpha as alpha and tan beta as beta tan gamma as gamma this is why because for small angles we make this assumption now we are done in our first step now let me take this diagram here yeah now our second step is in triangle n o c as i told you i is the exterior angle so i is equal to alpha plus gamma you can see here n o c this triangle n c o n o c this triangle we have extended n c line till here so i is our exterior angle so i is equal to sum of other interior angles you can see interior angle is alpha and gamma so easy i have explained you this in the initial stage of this video so i is equal to alpha plus gamma therefore i is equal to what is alpha we have made alpha here as mn by om mn by om plus mn by mc now similarly you can check gamma and r and beta here you can check gamma r and beta gamma here it is taken as r why because it is the angle of refraction so it is taken as i this is angle made by incident ray so we took as i here r gamma and beta you can watch out here that gamma here is the exterior angle for r and beta take n c i triangle n c i triangle in this triangle extending c i makes an exterior angle that is gamma so gamma is equal to r plus beta we can write it as gamma is equal to r plus beta but we are concerned about refracted angle that is r r is equal to in this equation modifying we will get r is equal to gamma minus beta so this is equal to mn divided by mc minus mn divided by mi take this as equation 2 take this as equation 1 we have all these things here and we substituted with our exterior angles so you know one famous law of this ray optics that is snell's law snell's law tells that n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r and we took for small angles tan alpha is alpha similarly here we are taking n1 i we are getting sin we are taking sin out n1 i is equal to n2 r this is the thing we are considering for small angles for small angle we took out sin small angle this is the basic assumptions now as of now we are almost 50 percent done with the particular derivation now only thing is mathematics that is substitute the value i 
from equation 1 and value r in this Snell's law n1 into what is i? i is mn by om plus mn divided by mc is equal to n2 into substitute r what is r mn by mc minus mn by mi so now you came to know why we took r instead of gamma we took r because we are interested in i and r why because it is with respect to snell's law now we are almost done now let me take this step here n1 see mn is common in both the side lhs and rhs of the equation so take mn out here and take mn out here and each mn mn will cancel so mn is taken out of the equation they cancelled each other so we are left with 1 by om plus 1 by mc i hope you understood why we took out mn that is basic maths why because mn is present on both the side sorry we took out mn let me do this 1 divided by mc minus 1 divided by m i this is m i okay now we just simplified one step we are supposed to simplify another step here just multiply n1 inside this what we will get n1 by om plus n1 by mc is equal to n2 by mc minus n2 by mi now you can carefully look here mc is present as denominator in this and this term which is on opposite sides so bring them together bringing them together in the sense keep n1 by om in lhs and take this mi this side n2 by mi is equal to n2 by mc minus i bringing this this term to rhs so n1 divided by mc you can write this particular rhs as n2 minus n1 divided by mc okay now the last part we are did uh, almost we are done now we did major portions of this derivation now here we are supposed to take what is om om is minus u minus as i told you in the previous derivation minus is y because om is in the behind the convex surface om is behind the convex surface so according to the sign convention we took minus u and mi is plus v why because image is in the right side it is in front of the surface convex surface and mc is equal to plus r why because the radius of curvature which we considered is also in the front of the surface now the last thing last thing is substitute these things these things in this equation n1 by minus u om is minus u plus n2 divided by plus v is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by r c we got the derivation here on alterating this on just modifying that we will get n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r v did we got our final equation so i hope you understood this in a better manner i conveyed everything including the prerequisite so if you like the way we taught you please do subscribe our channel share among your friends encourage us thank you